Hello. This eye, by the way, is refusing to stop watering. And I hate it, but, <laughs> like, what are you going to do? I tried so many different ways to fix it, but please ignore that. The other thing is that you're probably hearing this roaring creak in the background now. I'll see if I can edit it out a bit, but there have been severe thunderstorms here for the past few days, and the creek is all flooded up. As I told my nephews, that creek is zooming. Also, I tried for the first time to use eyeshadows nail polish. I used Kuba from my Project Pan, those eyeshadows. So I am so happy and it like, I don't know, it worked out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love it. Now I feel like I have so many nail polish color options. Anyways, that's not what you're here for. Today we will be talking about my A to Z Project Pan. There are a few versions out there. From what I understand, the A to Z Project Pan started as like a whole collection type of thing, and then a few people switched it up and made it more eyeshadow focused, like Sophie Alexandra and the person she's inspired by, which I forget. I'm also doing it. And I'm doing a version where it's single eyeshadow. So a lot of people are doing it where it's just eyeshadows throughout their palettes. I'm doing single eyeshadows because I was able to, which was wonderful for me. Because I couldn't do what everyone else is doing where they're remembering each shadow in their project from all these different palettes. I could never do that. My brain would not handle it. So I have all of my... A to Z things in this <laughs> magnetic palette. Don't mind Kira. And I have 24 shadows I'm working on because I don't have Q and X in this project. And basically it's just, I picked a single shadow that began with A to fill the A slot. I picked a single shadow that began with B to fill the B slot and so on. And I will show you each and every shadow in this palette. There is only one pan, I'll tell you now, but we can talk about some dips that I did or some looks. We'll, we'll see what happens. So welcome, hello, welcome to my awkward family. For A, it's Axis from the Subculture palette. You can't really see much change. Also, this update is two months after my intro and I surprisingly don't have much Dip. there's not much change. I'm a little like, oh, Angela, you could have done better, but whatever. It's, you know, it's okay. This is Axis from the Subculture palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I used this five times, and you can't really see a change. There's a little bit of a dip actually happening in this corner over here, if you can see that. You can see a little bit of a dip, like a crack forming in that bottom, kind of this side over here. And Axis has turned into like my favorite in this palette. It's really putting in work. It's a unique color to deepen out the outer corner. I used it in like green looks, in a blue look once too, I think. And yeah, I've just used it all over. It's really pretty. I did not expect to get as much use out of it as I did. For B, we got Buzo from the Juvia's Place Magic Mini. I also used this five times, so I've been using this in green looks as well, and it's super fun. This one is Cube from Subculture, and I have it in my look today in my inner corner. And you can kind of see a dip forming, but I have it in my inner corner. And on my brow bone. I think this next update, why am I, I'm doing it like this. What's that about? Maybe I should go like that. Haha. <laughs> Does that feel less eerie for some people? Cube I used five times, including today in my look. If you hear Kovu, he's going ballistic right now. In my Pandos eyeshadows, I had a shade called Flicker. And that has rolled out, so now I think I could get much more use on this. They're both iridescent pinks, but totally different. Like, one is a duochrome, which was Flicker, and this one is just, like, a cool-toned pink. The next shadow for D is Dream Maker from the ColourPop 
Sweet Talk palette. Can we not right now? Okay. You are a garbage boy. This is Dream Maker from the Sweet Talk palette. I only used it once because I have a shadow in my Pan That palette that is very similar to this one. So I don't even know why I used it once. I think I just wanted to get that usage. Earth Shine is for E. This is a ColourPop single I have, but I know it's also in a ColourPop palette. But I got it as a single. This is Earth Shine. I used it once. I almost used it today, but I figured my look was already me smashing way too many purples together in hopes that it looks good, that I opted out of not using this. Kovu. What? Uh, this next one is Fudge from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. You can see that there is like some cracks on the side. Both Axis, which is an A. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I used Fudge five times and... I used it in neutral looks, okay, and I haven't used it in a while, but I really did enjoy using it in neutral looks. I don't have a dark brown in my Pan That palette or Pan Those Eyeshadows, so this comes in handy. Okay. The next one for G is Golden Ochre from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance, Rena Renaissance palette, and I used it once. Yay me, not exciting at all. This next one I also used once for, this is in the H slot, and it's Too Faced's Pretty Rich, Highly Selective eyeshadow. I used it once recently, but I discovered something about this shadow, and I'm really happy I did, because I think it will encourage me to use this more, and also a shadow from my Pan That palette, which is called Eclipse. Eclipse is like a taupey shadow, but its undertone is rosyish pink. Like, undertone, undertone is a little pinky. And I found out that these work really well together. They look really cute. I don't gravitate towards this color, but pairing it with Eclipse and making that grungy kind of look made me happy, and I like it. So... Now I'll get more use out of this. The next one is Ife from the Juvia's Place Magic Mini. I used this once in a blue look. My nephew wanted me to do a blue eye and a green eye one day, and I obliged. You can see there's hard pan over here. I haven't even used like this with water or anything. I don't know. It just has hard pan. For J, it's Justice from the ColourPop Sailor Moon palette the Pretty Guardian palette, and I used it three times, and I'm actually surprised I didn't do more yellow looks. I love yellow looks, but I guess it's just because of my Pan Those Eyeshadows and Pan That palette. I didn't go towards yellow as much as I normally do. The next one is Keep Cool from the ColourPop Chasing Rainbows palette. I'm just going to keep doing this. I don't know why I want to naturally do this. This is in my look today. I've only used it once. Uh, it's darkening my outer corner. Oh, <laughs> I'm crying. I hate it. My eye only does this, and I know it must be because of the pigments. My eye only does that when it's red or purple shadows. And it must be because of, like, that red dye or whatever in the shadow. I don't know, but my eyes do get irritated, and I've noticed it this past year that they get irritated with those shadows. Use this once, and this already had a dip in it before I put it in my project, and we'll see what happens. I would love to hit pan, but if it keeps making my eye water, then like, I don't know. The next one is Lucid from the ColourPop Chasing Rainbows palette as well, and Lucid is in my look today, but it's like, again, me smashing things together. It's on my lid, if you can tell. Lucid I've used twice. It's cute. I should really use it more because it's cute, but I just haven't gone around to it. This next one is Mermosa from the Tarte Be a Mermaid and Make Waves palette. I have not used it at all because in my Panos eyeshadows I had a honey gold like this and I just rolled it out, so maybe now I'll use it. This next one is New Wave from the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. 
Did not use it at all again. For some reason, I'm not gravitating towards yellows, and this is like a mac and cheese yellow. I haven't gone for this. The next one is Oshun from the Juvia's Place Magic Mini. I used it twice. It is a gorgeous, like, bubblegum metallic. I love it so much. It's really cute. This next one is again the yellows I did not gravitate towards. Use it twice. I should use it more. It's really cute in the inner corner. This is play by play. It's a color pop single. It's more of a subtle reflect, but I do like it. So that's play by play. And this next one is Realgar from the Anastasia My Renaissance palette. I've used it twice. I used it once to darken a uh, orange look and once in my last video, I used this as like a, attempted to use this as an eyeliner. You see that shine, a little bit hard pan. That's from me making it be an eyeliner. But I got a little bit more of a dip going on that one. I'm really happy with that. This next one for S is from ColourPop's Sweet Talk palette. This is side to side. And this is hands down my favorite. And I think, yeah, it's the one I use the most from all the shadows in this palette. I don't think you can see the dip happening so much. It is delicious. It's a super shock formula and it just makes you sparkle so hard and I love it. I used it seven times. It's a, another one of those kind of more icy pinks but it kind of has that warm undertone. Regardless, it's so shiny and I wish more ColourPop shadows were like this, where it's just, it's so crazy shiny that you want it to be on your eyelids because it's like that magpie effect where you just want all of the shiny things near you. This next one is Team Captain. This is a ColourPop single. I used it three times, although you can't tell because this is so firmly pressed. I probably will never hit paint on this. This will, this one's probably one of those um, singles where it's going to take me like 30 uses to hit pan and in two months I used it three times so a little this project has turned more into less about hitting pan and more about seeing usage on these singles I'm really enjoying this project pan for myself because it's letting me focus on my singles at least 24 of them and I'm just happy to see even the littlest dips and usages on these. Like, I don't think before this project I even used Team Captain three times. So that makes me happy. This next one is Ursa, which is a Cleonad single they gave me because shipping was going too long. I only used it once and I used it in my nephew's look where he asked for one eye to be blue. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's pretty, but yeah, I only used it once. This next one is Vi from the Juvia's Place Magic Mini. Didn't use it at all. This is the last one, though, that I didn't use at all. It's just this gunmetal, very silver, very, very silver. It doesn't really lean towards one color or the other. It's a dark, neutral silver gunmetal. I love it. Like, I love this color in general, but on my eyes, not so much of a fan. But that's okay. I'll try to use it at least more than zero times next time. This one is Wishless from the ColourPop Chasing Rainbow palette. I used it twice. It's just slightly darker pink than the pink in my Pin That palette. And I kind of try to use it to deepen it up a little, but it barely does that. I usually have to go in with a darker pink to get the depth that I want. Oh yeah, so by the way, I skipped Q earlier. Like I said, don't have it. Now I'm skipping X because I don't have it. This next one is a really cute color. It's Yara from the Juvia's Place Magic Mini. I used it twice. I tried to use it more, but it's kind of an interesting shadow where it's bluey green and a lot of times I was going for very green looks and I wanted that green green instead of like that blue green. But I think this color is so cute. I love it. I'm a fan. I should use it more. If you remember, I told you that I do have one pan. And it is Zuba from the Juvia's Place Magic Mini. I hit pan on it after two uses. I don't remember the date, but I'll put that up there. It is four uses on this guy. The pan is huge because this shadow is very crumbly. And I did use it a ton before it was in this project. This was definitely a gimme shadow. 
but I'm really happy I gave myself a gimme shadow because this is the only pan I have. So <laughs> let me reveal the whole deal. Reveal the whole deal. That sounded cool. Not really. This is my A to Z Project Pan palette. So I'll put up a photo of what it looked like last update, my intro, where I haven't focused on them yet. And maybe you can tell some differences, maybe not. But here's an up close now. But yeah, you really can see just Zuba living its life with a big pan in it. Otherwise, I'm sorry, this is pretty boring, yeah. But I am really liking this project for myself, like I said. It's helping me really focus on some of these shadows that haven't gotten a lot of love from me in the past. My predictions for what I could hit pan on, hopefully my next update won't be two months plus in the future. I would love to update you sooner, but I'm hoping to hit pan on cube. And I really think that's it that I can do. I'll try harder. <laughs> At least I'd like to hit pan on cube and see some better dips in quite a few of these. There you go. You can kind of see the dips a bit better. The lack of dips as well. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. I'm a little bit of a mess as the usual. My family is a bit of a mess. Bit dramatic. Kofi, you're a bit dramatic earlier. Yeah. Yeah, take a nap that chaos earlier. You need to recharge so you can give me more chaos later. I love him. Whatever. Hello and goodbye. Welcome to this channel and also get out. I hope you're having a good day and I hope you're doing well mentally and physically and yeah I hope you know spread some kindness, spread some love to the people that deserve it. You know? You know? You don't have to spread it to all the people that don't. If they're being meanies. I need to go. I need to go try to be good to my own brain. And yeah, just look at my nails again. Okay. I feel cool. Anyways, oh my god. Goodbye. Why do I always do this? Bye. <laughs> it's so hard to say bye for me. Bye.